a problem about finding values of x that satisfy the congruence 3x equivalent to 10 mod 12. Now, when we see a problem like this, finding possible values of x to solve the congruence, the first thing we should think about is inverses. Can we use modular inverses? It'd be super nice if we could, like if we could get the inverse of 3, could multiply both sides, get x by itself, life would be great. But inverses don't always exist. So we have to think about, do we have an inverse? And for an inverse to exist, we need the multiple of multiplier, or like the inverse we want to find, the thing that multiplies x, and the mod, so 312 in this case, the greatest common divisor needs to be 1, as in the largest integer that evenly divides both of these numbers. And it is not one in this case. Uh, the greatest common divisor is three. So that sucks. Okay, can't do the inverse method. So now we need to think a little bit more because when the inverse doesn't exist, that means there still could be a solution. There still could be values of X that work. There could be many values of X. Well, I guess there's always multiple, but there could be even different mods. Um, and there also could be no solutions. We just really don't know. So one thing I want to point out is this is a multiple choice question. It's not wrong if you just try out all these answer options. Like for part A, 3 times 4 equals 12. That's definitely not equivalent to 10 mod 12. So we could knock out A pretty fast. B also goes pretty fast. But sometimes the numbers get bigger, so we don't like we don't want algebra mistakes. Um, but it is a valid method. Also, if you just want to practice, like while you're studying, there are online modular calculators. If you just Google mod calculator, um, just so you can like check your work and be super sure of things. But anyway, moving back to this problem, there's a couple different approaches we can take now. Um, we can just look at the problem and think very hard. That's not a great approach, but I'm sure some people did it. Um, something similar to that, but a, an interesting way to think through this is that these numbers I'm writing here are all the different values mod 12 that we could have. Like any other number would be equivalent mod 12 to one of these numbers. So I'm just going to look at these for a second and be like, I know that anything else will be equivalent to one of these. And I'm going to think about the left hand side. Are there any of these numbers that could be the left hand side? What do we need? The left hand side has to be a multiple of three, right? It's three times something. So which of these are a multiple of three? Well, 0 is a multiple of 3, 3 is a multiple of 3, 6, and 9. So this left-hand side has to be equivalent to one of these mods. Uh, and none of these are equivalent to 10 mod 12. So there actually is no solution to x here. It's never going to work. There is not a single number I can multiply 3 by. Oops. Nothing I could put in here that would be congruent to 10 mod 12. It just can't happen. Or equivalent to 10 mod 12. Yeah, that's, that's not going to work. So if you did continue to just go through all these options yourself, you'd find that none of them work. A big bummer. And yeah, that's actually it for this problem. Um, when in general, if you can't, if the inverse doesn't exist and you're solving for values of x in a congruence, you can try values and see what happens and maybe get a feel for getting into the problem. And then if you find a value that works, think about what other values could work from that. But for this problem, no solution.